As the great prophets David Baddiel and Frank Skinner once said, it's coming home. It's coming home. Football is coming home. So, this is the first part in what will be my career mode series, bringing two sleeping giants of domestic and international football respectively back to their glory days, and that is with Blackburn Rovers and the England national team. The England national team of course had a good run in the last World Cup, reaching the semi-finals. Uh, there were some highs. Can we all just take a second to appreciate that Harry Maguire's head is so big it looks photoshopped. Also, Jordan Henderson's just like, yeah this is great guys, but remember to stay hydrated. Anyway, there were of course some lows too, and some highs in the middle of some lows. Uh, the team I'll be managing though is Blackburn Rovers, who have also had some highs, uh, winning the Premier League in 1995, but since then it's just pretty much been lows, there was a slight high in the middle. Of course, you might be asking, if I wanted to bring back the glory days to a former English giant, why not Nottingham Forest? Uh, but their success was mainly in Europe and not domestically, also, if you look at their current squad, there's not a lot of young English talent there to work with. So let's take a look at the rules for this career mode series. Uh, the budget for the first season is £300 million. The team can only contain players from the Commonwealth of Nations. And once a player from a Commonwealth nation has been with the club for a whole season, their nationality is changed to English. I won't be taking the national team job straight away in this career uh, because I don't want to slow the series down too much. Uh, we'll be simulating some games and playing others uh, to help it move along a bit swifter also. And we'll be playing on legendary difficulty, which is usually easier in career mode than any other game mode for some reason. Uh, that's because I don't want to be held up in the championship for too long in this series. And I'm far from the best FIFA player, so ultimate difficulty would be too far. Uh, also, if it gets too easy, I can adjust the sliders in the settings. Uh, so without much further ado, let's jump into making some signings. Uh, the first signing we made won't be joining until later, as they're out on loan at the moment. Uh, but it was Freddie Woodman, who we signed for £15 million. Next was Jaden Bogle, who we got for £18 million. Then Jeffit Tanganga, who cost us £15.2 million. Nathan Wood was pennies at just £1.25 million. Axel Twanzebe was a cool £16.4 million. Jamal Lewis, despite having a release clause of £45.1 million, only cost us £20 million in the end. Curtis Jones set us back £3.45 million. And Billy Gilmore just £4.4 million. Ollie Watkins was a bargain at just £14 million. But Canadian superstar Jonathan David cost us £33.6 million. Nigerian forward Emmanuel Dennis wasn't cheap either at £27.5 million. And last but not least, the future of English football Mason Greenwood, with a release clause of £83.3 million, was a relative steal at 423 So let's go ahead and jump into our first live game of the season, which was at home to Charlton Athletic. So we're at home to Charlton, first game of the season. Let's try and make a good impact on the start of this career mode. Playing on the left-hand side, come on, got space in the middle, yes, yes, that's it. Play it through. Yep, yeah, one on one. Come on, my boy. Get in there. That's what I'm talking about. Get in, my son. 1 0. Come on, somebody give me options. Give me options. Nah, tame shot. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on, through to Watkins. Yes. Surely, can't miss. You can. <laughs> Somebody make a run. Somebody make a run. Come on. Come on, Greenwood. Oh, good save. Yes, come on, David. Come on. No. Oh, he's got past him. He's done him. Cross it. Oh, not what I meant. Blazed it over. Yes. 
Yes, come on, lads. Come on. Surely. Go for it. 2 0. Get in there, Jonathan David. He's doubled the lead. Been peppering their goal, and finally, finally, we got the second one. Played a 1 2 with Jones and smacked it in. Cross it, lad. No, nah, nobody's, nobody's free. Oh, off the bar. Yes, surely. Billy Gilmore. The Scottish sensation. Makes it free. Oh, you call that defending? Shocking. Come on. Yes, yes, for four, for four, and it's four. Jonathan David with a brace. You can't stop us. Cheeky little back heel. Get in, my son. On defend. Oh no, it's not defending. Oh, come on, go for five. Let's go for five. Oh, just over. And that is how the game ended. A comfortable 4-0 victory. Uh, next up will be more difficult though, an away trip to Fulham. Uh, so let's jump on in to see how that game got on. Okay, so we're away to Fulham. This will be our first challenge. Oh no, oh no, that's poor. What have I done here? Oof, good block. He's got space down the right. Go on inside. Gilmore, Gilmore. Oh. Get this clear, lads. Get it clear. Get it clear. No. 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 Come on. Redemption. Come on. These defenders get out of the way. Oh. Yes, through the middle. Come on, David. Level it. Oh, he saved it. Yes, 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 yes. Second time lucky. No. Oh, yes. Go on. Oh, how's he missed? No, not again. Not again. Oh, no. So after some wasted opportunities, that is how the game finished, 2-0 to Fulham. The next game up was a Carabao Cup match against Southend United, which we won comfortably 3-0. Uh, this was followed up by a home loss, 1-0 to Middlesbrough, and then a 2-2 away draw to Hull City. Uh, so the next game up, looking for some redemption, was against Cardiff at home. This is going to be a big game. Got Gilmore out injured, need to get a win here. Oh, oh no, got it back. Yes, surely, surely, and finally. It's an early goal here, but we struggle to break the deadlock against Fulham. But finally that goal has come. And we are 1-0 up. Thought I'd lost it, but got it back. And bang. Oh, space. Come on, David. David... Oh, he's offside. No, come on. Oh, what are you doing? Shocking defending. Yes, keeper. Have to do some more defending here. That's not worked out. That's not worked out. Oh. 
haven't got options in the box. Cross it in. Oh, nobody's got it. Oh, he skied it. On the overlap. Yes, in the middle. In the middle. And it's two. It's David again. He's an absolute goal machine this episode. His third of the episode is first of the match. And we lead 2 0. Had the overlap on the left hand side. Crossed it in. Hit it first time. Easy for the keeper. Nope, some more shoddy defending there through again. Oh, good save. Keeper's really keeping me in this game. No, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh, keeper again. Oh, he's got away. Yes. Space. Space. Cut back. Watkins, no. Oh. Oh, he's offside anyway. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. He's let him in. Oh. Oh, no. We were doing so well. Oh, he's onside. He's onside. Cross it. Three. Watkins gets his goal. We've restored that two goal lead and it is more comfortable now. Start to breathe again. Thought I'd taken too long to cross it, but there he was at the far post to tuck it in. Yes, chance for four. Chance for four. Oh, he saved it. Just push him out wide. Push him out wide. Oh, that's a that's a bad punch. Ooh. And so it was a 3-1 victory. We had less shots, but there were better opportunities in the match. Uh, this was followed up with a 3-1 away win, this time to Sunderland in the next round of the Carabao Cup, leading into our next live match, which was away to West Bromwich Albion. Another big test. And straight away I can see I've made a poor choice of kit here. I can't tell who is who. Space for Jones in the middle. Come on, give me options. I can't see who's my player. Oh, we go through to David. Oh, it's 1-0 already. We are the kings of the early goals in this competition. Another one from Jonathan David. His fourth of the episode. And the away fans in the Hawthorns are going wild. I couldn't tell who was who, but I managed to find one of my players and it was slotted home. Some defended needed here. Ooh. Come on, who's mine? Yes. Yes, David, one on one. One on one. Oh, he's been muscled off the ball. Jonathan David running the show. Cut back inside to David. Oh. Oh, went for the spectacular. Oh no, he's done me there. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, he's offside. It's okay. Thank God for that. Saved by the offside flag. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Nobody's tackling him. He's going to go the full length. Go on, son. Oh, no. How? Oh. oh, oh, I've let him through there. This isn't good. Oh, no, it's not. What? No. Why, why have you done that? Why? Come on, play. Player one, two. 
I've gone wider than I wanted to. Go on, who's my options in the box? No one. Go on, play it back to him. He's got space. He's got space. David in the middle again. Surely this time. No! Oh, dear. Yes, come on. Watkins, you've got this one. You've got this one. Don't miss another chance. Don't miss... I'm, I'm losing hope. Go on, create side this time, this time, Watkins. You've got this. No, not a good enough chance. And so it was another disappointing result with some big opportunities missed again. Uh, this was followed up with another defeat, 2-1 to Millwall this time. And then a 2-1 victory over Reading. Uh, so this will lead us into our final game of this episode, which is away to Sheffield United in the Cup. Our first game against Premier League opposition, although Sheffield United are underrated on this game, I would say. Hopkins. Oh, Davenport's got space. Probably a bad angle for the shot. Back to Dak. It's... Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, it's over the top to Watkins. He's got time for a shot. Can it be another early goal? And it is. It's Watkins again this time. And he's chipped it over the keeper. A cheeky little chip. And we are 1-0 up early on in this cup tie against Sheffield United. Nothing the keeper could do about it. Just over the top of him. Oh, Buckley with a chance. Oh, he's chipped it over. Can't get the ball off him. Oh, just over. Oh, no. No, they've got through there. What a tackle. Buckley's going to go all the way. Come on, give me options. Yes, yes. Oh, good save. Go on. Go on. Yes, son. Oh, he's offside. Oh, no, he's kept it in. Kind of hoping that will go out. But he's not. No! Oh. I can't defend. Come on! Yes, it's a penalty. Surely had to be. Cynical. It's a shame I can't do penalties in FIFA. Ugh. The onside. He is onside. Got to be no. Oh, and he's at the post. Go on. Yes. Cheeky little flick through. Watkins. He's got another. We weren't level for long and now it's 2-1 with Watkins with his second of the match. Nice bit of skill from Dak there with the flick and Watkins slots it home. Oh, we've got a chance of three here. I'm not usually good in one-on-one -on -one situations. So let's play it. Oh, no. Go on, son. One on one again, this time surely, and it is. 3 1. Looks a lot more comfortable now. And we'll be going through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Our first big test against Sheffield United, and we have proven ourselves. Come on, don't slip up now, don't slip up now. Oh, it's a poor header anyway. 
and we made it look easy in the end with a 3-1 victory over Sheffield United going through to the next round. Uh, this was followed up by a 3-1 victory also, this time in the Championship against Luton. And so if we look at the table at the end of this episode, we can see that we are sitting 8th, so not the best start to the campaign, but we've, uh, I think we've got better as the games have gone on. Uh, we've got 14 points, so we are 7 behind the leaders, QPR, uh, but still plenty of games to come. Um, probably going to be doing this maybe once every fortnight rather than once a week because it takes so long to record each episode and edit it. But if you like this video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button and the bell, anything you can do to help me out. Uh, pop any feedback down in the comment section below and I will see you next time.